See, under peaceful conditions, the warlike man attacks himself. This was a quote. This was something that I read within reading Frederick Nietzsche. If you know, like, I, I really admire his work. I read a lot of his work. And this quote itself stood out to me in terms of the modern times that we live in with men today. See, a lot of men are going to war with themselves because everything seems seemingly peaceful. Now, if you've been watching the channel, if you've been looking at a lot of the news that's going on, you know that's not true. You know that there is a war going on, but it's not a physical, tangible war. It's a war on your mind, right? But you don't feel it as much. So what happens when the average man goes out and he sees that everything's calm. He's going to his regular job. He's not competing against other things. He's not exuding his masculine energy towards anything else. He starts to self-sabotage. He start, And that's a negative way of fighting yourself, by the way. So a negative way of fighting yourself is by decaying yourself, by doing things that will destroy who you are, by, by doing things that will allow for you to be at war with yourself in a negative way. On the flip side, there are men who have channeled this in a positive direction, and they start to fight against their own negative thoughts. They start to fight against their own nature, right? They start to go against a lot of the, the, the vices that they have, a lot of the things that, that are in their mind, in their heart, in their in their day-to-day -day that's hurting them. They fight that. But see, what we're finding is that men are going to war with things that have nothing to do with them. They're, they're being violent to other people. Men are being violent to women. Men are being, vi they're, they're, they're verbally abusing women in terms of who they are. Men are doing all of these different things because everything is calm. It's, it's peaceful. It's seemingly peaceful. So if you're at a point where everything is calm and everything's peaceful and you have that warlike state, because the reality is all men are built for war. All men are built to go to war for something. They're built for a mission. When you feel like there's nothing around you, you're just going to fight yourself. It's just what you need to do. You need to exert a warlike symptom into something in your life. And that's part of what happens. So you'll start to see this a lot. You'll start to understand this in yourself. I started noticing that in myself. The minute I stopped fighting a war, whether it's you create a war, like in your mind, you're fighting against something. You're going to start doing things that self-sabotage yourself, that start to decay yourself because you're fighting against yourself. You could be fighting against the good nature of yourself or you could be fighting against the bad nature of yourself. I do both. A lot of men lean in one direction or the other. A lot of men also do both. But when you start to analyze this, you start to realize, man, we need an enemy. We need something to fight against. So you need to start understanding that you're not, these aren't peaceful conditions anymore. Right? We're not living in, a, everything's starting to rise up. Financial destruction, right? People are literally going to war against you financially. Debt, institutions that are trying to pull as much money from you as possible when it comes to interest rates, when it comes to predatory lending, when it comes to the financial institution. You're literally at war financially. You're at war from a health perspective, right? You're fighting against a system that's literally giving you foods that is weakening you as a man, that's lowering your testosterone, that's making you fat, that's making you do all of these things that decay your health. You're fighting against systems that, that disempower men, right? And make them feel bad about themselves and make them feel weaker and make them feel a lot more on the feminine side. Even though you should be able to balance both the masculine and the feminine, there's systems that are going against your innate masculinity. You're actually in a war. Once you understand this, you'll stop hurting yourself. You'll stop doing things that self-sabotage. You'll stop actually doing things that are harmful to society because you finally realize that there is a war because you are a warlike man. You are somebody who needs to be in war. So when we have these peaceful conditions, all you're going to just do is just start attacking yourself. You're going to start doing things that are going to sabotage yourself, that are going to keep you in a negative state. You're going to do things that, that deplete your energy. You're going to do it by sleeping with a bunch of different women. Right. That's a form of self-sabotage watching corn. <laughs> right. That's a form of self-sabotage. You're going to do all of these things because you don't have a war. There's a digital war going on where the voices of people who are insignificant, the voices of people who are trying to hurt you as a man, their voices are expanding. This is why I'm so passionate about helping men build their personal brands online so that they can say what they need to say, help other men become the best versions of themselves so that we can start to rise up as people. 
Again, if you're interested in building and monetizing your personal brand, link is in the description, tap in, because I need my whole mission. Do I wanna make money? Absolutely, I wanna provide value and make money at the same time. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I also wanna help, I wanna have men around that are actually doing what I'm doing in their own way, that are helping other men. So again, group coaching link is in the, in the description. Obviously, make sure that you're somewhat financially stable to be able to do something like this. It will help you financially. It will help you um, physically because you're going to want to get in shape when you get in front of the camera. It's going to help you mentally because you'll be able to expand your thoughts. It'll help you emotionally because you'll be able to get off what you need to get off into a void, into, into the collective, right? So again, tap in. But back to regular scheduled programming. You have to avoid this warlike state with yourself in a negative way. Always fight the things that are holding you back, of course, right? But once you've done that, once you feel like there's nothing left and now you need to start self-sabotaging to get yourself and defeat yourself back to zero, you need to start pushing that energy towards something else. You have to fight a cause. You have to fight something that's going on right now. Find injustices that exist and fight those things. Dedicate your life to defeating those things. Defeating those enemies that are constantly hitting you left and right. This is why men are at war with themselves. This is why men are in the state that they're in right now. We are built for war. We're not built for peace. When there is peace, there's peace because we've created peace. And now there's war because we've basically went the other way, the whole MGTOW, right? Men going their own way. We've turned our heads and we've acted like nothing's going on and we've given the enemy the opportunity to now be able to shape society in a way that does not benefit us in, what, in, in any shape or form. So you need to find something to be competitive. You need to find something to be at war with. Go do martial arts. Go to the gym. The gym is the most constructive way to fight yourself, to fight the weakness that lives inside of you innately. Everybody has weakness that lives inside of them. You have to constantly imagine yourself fighting yourself in the gym every single day. This is literally the key to avoiding all of those self-sabotaging activities that you do to, to avoid all of the self-destructive behavior that you do, the constant smoking weed, the constant drinking your life away. You are literally fighting yourself. This is why people get addicted to substances. People get addicted to substances because they innately want to destroy themselves. There's nothing else that they seem, they see that they can destroy, so they want to just destroy themselves. You're the only person that's left in your mind. You're the only enemy that's left, even the good part of you. So you're going to want to start destroying the good part of you because you have nothing left. Once you start finding the mission, once you start finding the common enemy, once you start finding that injustice that you want to target, you're going to start exuding that warlike energy towards that thing. So you need to redirect it. So anybody here, if you're watching this right now and, and you feel like you're self-sabotaging, you feel like you're in a self-destructive pattern, you need to start channeling that warlike energy towards some form of injustice, some form of enemy that exists in society today. Spoiler alert, there are hundreds if not thousands of enemies right now that are pulling you down, that are pulling your family down, that are pulling people around you down, that are pulling humanity down. And we need people like you to step forward, bring your voice out, talk, influence people, influence people like a, like a conqueror, like a commander, influence people around you. That is your job as a man is to influence your surroundings. Do that and you will literally stop going to war with yourself in a negative way. Frederick Nietzsche, this was one of the most genius quotes I've ever read because it literally sums the, the state of man today. So tap into this and remember this, all right? So again, I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Again, links are in the description if you're interested in actually conquering YouTube, taking over the space, putting your voice out there, selling a service to help other people so that they can get better, so that you can be financially free and they can be free of the problem that they have. That's literally what it is, all right? I only want men who are working um, consistently. If you're unemployed, you need to go get a job first, right? That's the first challenge you need to have. Once you have that job, and you want more and you want to be able to expand yourself and you want to be able to be free, use the money from that job to invest into something, not even me, but something that's going to give you the avenue to take over in the space that you want to take over. All right. So I appreciate you and I'm going to catch you on the next video.